Sometimes in a business, yeah. because we're, we're, we're partners, yes. she wants to talk to me like she's, right? She's like, like she's tell, not... tell me what to do. Like, babe, listen. Your eyes me. just got real wide yeah, right yeah. now. What, what's <laughs> up? Hey, hey, I ain't, I ain't one of these associates. To talk I ain't to, that okay? dude, baby. <laughs> right? I ain't that dude, <laughs> baby. <laughs> not today. Yeah. Right? And so uh, I said, hey, sweetheart, you, you, you got two options here. You want to talk to the fool in me? You'll get the fool. You want to talk to the king in me? You'll get the king. What do you want? I want the kid. There you go. There you go. There you go. So, so, uh, yes, I do. So let's go ahead and yes. rephrase that question. Yeah. <laughs> you say this. Let's rephrase that question. Okay. Because you got because to me because like you're saying because men we tend to take else and the people we take the most amount of sensitivity to is the woman closest to our heart. Of course. Right, right to our spirit. Like we can take we can take an L from some troll or some competitor or whatever case be, but for my wife, my girl, yeah, if she says something that has a potential. It's catastrophic. Yeah. Because she's so close to my heart. The average guy. Is he in good shape? No. no Overweight. Sure. Is the average guy really financially stable? Or is he always going from hustle to hustle, paycheck to paycheck? Is the average guy really, like Chris talked about, submission to God, following God's purpose in his life? Is the average guy really dressing and presenting himself in his best light? So with all that being said, as a man, what, who would want that? If you were a woman, would you want that? And so I think that's another misconception I think about because I think while there's tons of things to talk about what women are doing wrong, I think a lot of men don't realize that a lot of men as a whole have created a lesser product. There are no justifiable reasons. I intend that. Assuming you're living behind, regardless of whether you can't evaluate it, there is something that goes along. I utilize the cash example since you can quickly see. This is where I'm. Suppose you're 30 years of age and you're making $30,000. That implies you really want to get up in the first part of the day and begin carrying on with existence with the need to get going. You want to begin running your life like you are losing on the grounds that you are. You can't walk, you can't in fact talk, you want to begin running. If it's not too much trouble, grasp something. The main thing is you should be working 60 or more hours seven days. Allow me to say that once more, in the event that you're behind, you can't simply work 60 hours every week. You should be working more than 80. Definitely, that is correct, man. You might not waste some time. Get out there and bust two regular responsibilities to get your cash up in light of the fact that until you get your cash up, you can't carry on with a grown-up male existence, not a cheerful one. You will have an existence of cheap food. Truly, it will be unimaginable for you if you don't do what you should to get up to speed. We discuss personal development. Here's where everything becomes real. You can't enlist a fitness coach, nutritionist, life mentor, picture specialist, or any of these things since you don't bring in sufficient cash. On the off chance that you can scarcely cover your bills, you really want one more source of revenue. I've pounded this. You got to begin working. I previously said in the event that you're 40 and single no children and you're not working 60 hours in addition in 7 days, you're languid. However, assuming you're behind monetarily, you should be working more like 80. That is 16 hour days. That implies all you do is sleep and work over and over again. Allow me to let you know what this implies. You want to go into overdrives, zero excuses, no ladies, no dating, no jacking off, no pursuit of ladies, no part of that. Put yourself in prison for essentially a year to hit your brain right. What on God's green earth would you say you are doing over here at the bar? Having a facial hair growth? Taking a gander at the football matchup? Buddy, you broke. You're just in these rooms and stuff, and you're carrying on with a lie. That is the reason a ton of folks are discouraged. What you do is you kick life in the overdrive and take the extra cash you make. You really want to twofold down on personal development. That implies on the off chance that you've had the option to make do with your one work. You really want to go get a mind valve, figure out what's keeping you down, find a hobby mentor on the off chance that you're flabby or overweight. Likewise, get a fitness coach, acquire your subsequent work, and use it to begin further developing your life, since when you begin looking and loving who you see, you'll improve. At the point when we discuss, no doubt man, we will head toward the spot, and afterward we will go have two or three beverages and you realize you don't have even 20 bucks in your pocket. Then we say, oh, this round is on me, and you realize you can't buy a round. If you've had to live a life for going to the bathroom with a round of drinks about or even worse, you're not around people like that. It's always and buy my stuff, you buy your stuff. Buddy, you're passing on within each day since you stay put, 
or do anything since you realize you don't believe individuals should figure out that you've been living underneath. That is genuine talk, you feel awful. It's like I'm about to go to work and return home. What you're doing is whipping yourself. What you're doing is you're carrying on with life in prison. Better to say, you know what, I will go out and work. Basically, you'll get the feeling of fulfillment of hitting the sack depleted. Yet your cash is coming in. You are the one to go into life overdrive on the personal development, zero excuses, no ladies and afterward, the most elevated levels of responsibility. You want to admit to your companions, I'm an effed up man. I'm 35 years of age, still carrying on day-to-day -day life like a youngster. My closet resembles a teen's, my salary resembles a teen, I date like I'm dating a teen person. Truly it assuming that I lost the employment I have this moment, it's absolutely impossible that I'd have the option to go out and land another position getting this much cash since I have no abilities. I will tell you, I've met fellows out there, great fellows. Men who haven't worn a suit since secondary school and don't possess one. What's in your wardrobe? Nothing. I'm like, how would you get to life? It's not even simply a question of pay. A few fellows really bring in sufficient cash to manage the cost of everything except they don't carry on one day to the next to like it. I'm similar to so-and-so, it's one thing to not have the cash. However, if you really do have the cash, your closet, and your appearance actually seems to be a kid, you're as yet a kid. You might have more cash than the principal fellow, so you feel like I'm much improved than that however, what thing would you say you are doing in your life? On the off chance that you're carrying on with a daily existence to where you're not presented to anything that you could never have been presented to as a high school kid, you have an issue. You need to get truly clear on what should a 30-year elderly person do. A 30-year elderly person and a 21-year elderly person ought to be carrying on with two distinct lives. The 21-year elderly person should be out there pursuing it. I would anticipate that the 18 to 21 year old would be at spring break, school parties, drinking, pursuing skirts, going to the exercise center. However, at 30, I would anticipate that that should be way out of your framework. You actually go out yet you're not going to the coin lager night places, you're not going to the 18 and up clubs, you're basically going to the 25 and up clubs on the off chance that you're actually going out. At 30, you want to be out of that clubbing stage, you want to be going to parlors and things like that, since you will be the elderly person in the club. At 35, this stuff ought to be out of your framework. By 40, the main time you wind up going to a club like that is assuming that you end up returning home for these special seasons, and you meet a few companions out. A 30-year-old in the 21 in a club is a sick person. You're faltering in a failure. So the most significant level is responsibility. You must admit to certain people around you. I'm carrying on with life on document, and therefore you will go need to employ tutors, like mentors, and all the other things. The inquiry I truly need to pose, would you say you are sufficiently able to carry on with your life as a grown-up? The inquiry I needed to pose is would you say you are truly sufficiently skilled to run your own life? I mean, pose yourself an inquiry. On the off chance that you weren't you, would you truly be skillful enough to be viewed as a man? Allow me to say this once more. Suppose you're a 40-year-old fella, and you never claimed a suit. You found a new line of work, and you are taking care of your bills, and it's cool, you're getting by. However, life shouldn't be getting by, life should flourish. You know why you keep away from a mirror? Since you realize you would rather not look at yourself without flinching. He's eating, he has his own place, may have a vehicle that is a more established model, from 10 to 15 years, kept intact, and it's not grimy. You take a gander at this fella and ask him, Buddy, you're 35 years of age, is this the very thing you figured you could be the point at which you're a young man? When you were 8 years of age, did you suppose you'd be this? No. We called those folks failures. They realized they were losing. We got such a large number of folks today who are losing and pinning it on all the other things. Life isn't intended to be made do, it's intended to be flourished. On the off chance that you're not carrying on one day to the next life like you ought to be, then there's just something single to do. You need to go into overdrive on personal development. You're not able to do it without anyone else's help. Again, I don't intend to be discourteous. I'm making an effort not to be terrible, yet you're not sufficiently able to run this piece of your life. 